Here I am taking the measurements for the truncated cylinder as I am taking one side as 100 millimeters and this angle is 45 degrees here I am taking this height as 50 millimeters and the radius of the circle as 25 millimeter uh, here I want to calculate the circumference of this circle that means 2 into pi into r that is equal to 2 into 3.14 into here I am taking radius in centimeters 2.5 centimeters 2.5 we are getting 15.7 centimeters this is the way uh, we have to calculate the circumference now I am drawing this circle first with radius 2.5 centimeters first draw a circle of 2.5 centimeters radius here I am maintaining scale 1 is to 1 so we are taking the actual measurements uh, as per the required truncated cylinder here we have drawn the circle two po with 2.5 cm as radius now I am drawing lines by using rough gun First we have to draw a horizontal line passing through the center. First we have to draw a horizontal line passing through the center. Then vertical line. Now we have to draw two lines between each in each quadrant. Here I am considering this is first one, second one, third one and fourth one. In each quadrant we have to draw two lines. Uh, simply we can draw uh, 30 and 60 degrees by keeping them 30 and 60 degrees here. Initially I am having 0 degrees. Now I am making it as 30 degrees. See, this is the uh, fixed point. We have to keep this at 30 degrees first like this now draw a, th draw, draw a line passing through the center in the same way we can draw in these two quadrants with 30 degrees Now we have to keep 60 degrees in the rafter in the same way keep the fixed line at 60 degrees position. See I have kept at 60 degrees, write the rafter and draw the lines. Each line should pass through the center. And now we have made the entire circle into 12 parts. I am marking them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now keep the drafter at 0 degrees angle. Thank <laughs> you.
Now I'm drawing parallel lines passing through this point C like this. Here I am drawing this line. It is of 10, 100 millimeter. That is equal to 10 centimeters. I am marking here 10 centimeters and drawing the same line. Now I am joining this line, uh, this point and this point and, with, uh, and I am drawing a line connecting those two points and the line connecting these two points, line connecting these two points, line connecting 5 and 9, line connecting 6 and 8 and finally 7. I am drawing line which connects this two 12 and 2 uh, 11 and 3 uh, 10 and 4 9 and 5 8 and 6 and finally 7 now I am keeping this 45 degrees angle from the top here this is 10 centimeters now keep the drafter at 45 degrees as shown before this is 40 and this is 45. Now draw a line from here, the top of the 10 cm line. It will cut the last line at a point. And this will be our required height. This will be the 5 cm line. This line will be our 5 cm line. Now keep the drafter to 0 degrees. Now see. This will be our required 5 cm line. See exactly it came 5 cm. This is our required 5 cm line. Now, here we have drawn one inclined line and these, inter these lines intersected here at some points. And here, here. Now, Along the central line of the circle, this is our central line. Be careful while adjusting the angles that you should not keep the wrong angle. Extend this line. Now I am giving some space and I am marking this circumference of the base circle. How we uh, we have got 15.7 centimeters and I am leaving some space here. And I am marking the 15.7 centimeters. Before that you have to keep some extra portion. Why? Because we have to do folding. Well, after folding we have uh, some excess part is necessary for folding purpose for that i am keeping 0.5 centimeters on one side 
from this point I am measuring 15.7 centimeters like this 15.7 after 15.7 I am keeping 1 centimeter for folding purpose as each of 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 like this these are the required markings this, this is the excess part per 0 0.5 centimeters portion this is 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter portion and this is 15.7 centimeter, uh, centimeters portion uh, which is required for our uh, surface area of the required rotator cylinder I am extending these lines like this next uh, we have to extend these points. See, we have got some intersection points here. You can see that points. Now, extend these points up to here. See, I am extending each and every line from each point here. Now, this is our required portion, but we have to mark uh, some portions like a curve to represent this circle shape. For that purpose, I am dividing these 15.7 centimeters into 12 equal points. For that, I am taking, uh, I am taking some random angle less than 30. I am taking some random angle and extending the line from this point. See here the 15.7 cm line stacked. From here I am extending a line with some random angle. That's our own choice. Now I am marking, I am making this line into 12 equal parts. You can do with the, the compass or you can just keep with the scale. Anything. But the 12 portion should be of equal length. Here I am taking 1 centimeter. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. See, we have made this line into up to here. We have made 12 equal parts. Now I am joining this 12, this 12 centimeters uh, point to the edge of the 15.7 centimeters in this way. See. I'm just joining these two points and tidying them. See, now we can join this extra portion line and 15.7 centimeters line. And uh, we we need to join these uh, these points with the 15.7 centimeters line. Yes, I'm joining.
joining each and every point here. See, each line is touching 15.7 cm line at 12 different points. For our convenience, I am taking this as initial point 0, this is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash, 9 dash and so on, 12 dash. And these are the original points and I am taking them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on, 12. Now I am taking my drafter to initial position. Check whether it coincides with the initial lines. Okay, coincides. Now try the drafter and extend these 12 points up to here. Draw parallel lines, uh, 12 parallel lines from these 12 points. Lines. See, we have got different grid lines. Now we are going to make a curve shape like this. First of all, we need to shade the excess part for our convenience and shading like this. Here we are having one centimeter. See, this is our required portion. We have to do marking from this point to this point. See, I have selected this point and the top top box of next row, next column. Like the top portion, we have to take two boxes and we have to do this. Like See, I am joining the edges like this. using free hand card, join the edges like this. Selected box in the selected boxes. Like this, this is the first half portion. Repeat the same on the second half, like this. Be careful that you should join the two points. This is this is the way. We have to join. This is the excess part. We are going. We have. Go we are going to cut this excess part, and we are going to cut. See, I will. Da I will dark the portion. We have to cut.
This is the required development for truncated cylinder. See, I am showing uh, how to fold the truncated cylinder also. This is the excess part. See, I am folding this. One, one, one uh, excess part we should fold outside and one excess part we should fold front. I am taking them as one for the back side. One for the front. I am holding the one centimeter, zero point six centimeter, I am going to fold this. This is a required truncated cylinder developed. 